Hello, my name is Patricia and today I'm going to teach you how to make a sleeping bag for your teddy bear from the Adopt a Bear program over at Parkland County Libraries. So a disclaimer, we're going to make a sleeping bag but it won't look exactly like this just because you're going to be able to decorate it the way you want it to. Another disclaimer is I am not a sewing guru so I've only sewn three things in my life and one of them including this exact sleeping bag and also this exact shirt which I'll also provide a video for on how to create a shirt for your teddy bear over at the Dr. Bear program. But even if you're new to sewing just like myself, this is a really really easy do-it-yourself project that any kid can, can learn. It is great for motor skill development and any kid can do it with the supervision of an adult. So let's get started. Here are the following things that you'll need to make a sleeping bag. You're going to need the front of the template of the sleeping bag, the bottom template of the sleeping bag, the pillow stuffing of the sleeping bag, and this is all provided in the program package. You're going to need to use two pieces of felt, two ribbons, a pair of scissors, some thread, a needle, and also a pen just to mark out your template onto the felt fabric sheets. So the first step is to cut out the templates for the pillow stuffing, the bottom of the sleeping bag, and also the topping, top of the sleeping bag. So now that I have each of the templates cut out, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of felt. I'm going to choose purple as my sleeping bag, and I'm going to trace out each of the templates over here, at least the top one and the bottom one. And I'll leave the other one for the other felt. And then um, after I trace it out, I am gonna go cut it. So after you cut out your templates, what you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom of the sleeping bag and the top of the sleeping bag and you're going to align it just on the side over here, just to fold over. So you want to make sure that the bottom aligns just like that. The next step is you're going to get your thread. I'm only cutting up long enough to put at arm's length. and. You're going to go put the thread through the eye of the needle. So the eye meaning this open hole inside the needle. So you might need some assistance with an adult. But once you have that through, can I get pretty bit through? So once you get that through, then you are ready to go ahead and put that through your your felt. Just like that. When you're done, you want to make sure you go ahead and tie a knot at the end of the string over here. Something that looks like this. So you want to make sure it gets through the hole just like that so that when you pull it, it creates a nice stitch right over here just like, just like that. So then when you get the stitch through just like that the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go and get this needle through this part over here one more time just so it secures the stitch over there so the next stitch we're gonna do is we're gonna go move to the side over here Just like that. And then we're gonna go on the other side. 
and sew it through just like that. So there you see the other one. And then we'll just continue the pattern from there. So in through loop again. one right over here. So now that you're at the end of this row of the sleeping bag, I'm going to cut off the end here. And that's just because I have something special that I'll need to do when we fold this side. And we'll do the same thing we're going to sew on this side of the sleeping bag. For that, you want to make sure you tie a knot at the end, just so that secures that part of the sleeping bag there. And there we have it. So we're going to trim off the edge excess there, trim off the excess here. And now we have one side of the sleeping bag stitched. And now we'll do the same for this side. So now that you're done sewing it at the end, you'll just need to, to tie a knot to secure the loop there. So again, just like this. And I usually tie a few just because the nails do um, create quite a big gap. After sewing the sides over here, what you're going to do is flip over the sleeping bag inside out. And then you want to make sure you try to align the pleats so that so that you can see it fold over inside or outside just a little bit. So I'm gonna fold it on the side just like this. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just so the lines like that. Fold it on the inside. So pinch, fold on the inside. And then you can use paper clips to help hold the to help hold the the fold in place. You can also use binder clips or you can also use um, pins, push pins to help you. I have paper clips just to help me hold it in place. Once you have that going on, now you can go ahead and start sewing each side from here. So now that you have it folded inside out and that you have the pins or paper clips or binder clips holding it together, again, you're going to make sure you tie a knot just like what we did just now and then pull it through the needle and thread just like this. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. So all through all of that four. Make sure it aligns just like And then you're gonna go do that again. And make sure it goes on to the next, the next hole. Just like that. And then go on to the next one. 
right over here, and so on. And keep going at it until you're at the bottom over here. So now that you're done sewing all the way, what you're going to need to do again is trim off the end and then tie a knot just to close the sewing. So the next step is to make the pillow and how you do that is you make sure you, again you tie a knot at the end here and then pull it through the thread over here. Then what you want to do next is flip over and you're going to go back and forth between sewing through the hole here and out there and so on until you go through all of the holes. So once you have this sewed back and forth like this, you want to make sure you grab your template for the pillow stuffing and you just want to roll it. And then what you want to do with that is you want to slide it into the pillow itself, just like that. So once all the pillow stuffing is in, you want to make sure it's centered. And then with this part, you want to go ahead and cut off the thread, just long enough for you to tie a knot. And there you have it, you have this part with the pillow done. What we're going to do next is sew the sides over here to close them off. So I'm going to put my needle through here and then again I'm going to go ahead poke a hole through here and just keep going. So it should kind of loop itself nicely, just like that. Now that I'm done, you want to make sure you cut off the thread and then tie a knot just to finish that off. Okay, so now that you have this done, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and trim the end and then tie a knot just to finish it off. There we go. And now that you're done tying your knot, you want to go ahead and trim the excess thread just like that and also on the other side any excess thread you find and there you have it you have a sleeping bag it's not decorated yet but you can go ahead and use your fabric paint and decorate it any way you want it to so this would be a good place for your teddy bear to go ahead and sleep. And if you need to pack it up, then what you're going to need to do, so you're going to need some ribbon 
and you're just gonna need to go ahead and fold it a little bit going from the pillow and just tucking it in just like that and then when you're done rolling it in you can go ahead and tie a bow Tie another, make another tie or a knot on the other side. And then you can tie it to the back of your baby so that it has a sleeping bag to carry with it everywhere. So here's my teddy bear. You can decorate it any way you want it to, but now you can bring it along with you to any of your adventures. So go ahead and please watch the tutorial for a shirt if you haven't done so already. And I hope you have a wonderful summer. See you. Bye.